Hi there, in this video we will see how we can pass an XML file in C Sharp using link. There are uh, many ways in C Sharp to pass XML file like XML document and XQuery but it is very easy to do it using link. So here we have a sample XML file which is basically a collection of book. Uh, so there is this uh, root tag catalog under which there are several book elements with uh, attribute ID and there uh, are many child elements of this book uh, which are like author, title, journal. So uh, uh, suppose we want to get all the books with a specific journal say uh, uh, for computers so we will see how easily we can do it in C sharp using link for XML so this is the program uh, this is a, uh, a very simple C sharp console app written in Visual Studio code so here you, uh, we will use this X document uh, class you can get more details about this X document class uh, from Microsoft website uh, first we will have to unload the XML file uh, using the load function of this X document class um, what it will do is basically create a hex document uh, with the uh, object model of this entire XML file. Then after the uh, document is loaded, uh, what we need to hit is the collection of all the uh, book elements. Uh, for that uh, we use the descendants method and we pass the name of the element which is a book in this case and then we will have to filter out the uh, element for which the child element gener uh, value is say computer so it will return all the book elements uh, whose child element gener is equal to computer then uh, we can enumerate uh, through this collection and get the details of each of the book element for that we have created another function which uh, accepts this uh, hex element as the input parameter uh, first we will uh, get the um, id of the book which uh, which is basically an attribute of this book element for that we use the attribute function and we pass the name of the attribute id and then uh, using the value property we can get the value of the attribute then uh, we can uh, get all the details of this book element by getting the, the child elements of this book element for that we use this function descendant nodes and for each of the uh, node we can we will have to uh, cast it to x element first and then uh, we can get its name and value like this so we'll uh, just quickly run this program and see the output. Here we go. Uh, we have the details of all the books with Geno computer. In the same way, you can uh, write the program to uh, filter out the book elements for based on other properties like price and published date. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching.